Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're giving you the review for the Fire TV Stick. Now, we've been playing around with this uh, for a little while now, and we're kind of just seeing, you know, how it works and how it moves through, and just overall the feel for it. Now the navigation of having everything to the left uh, is, you know, pretty standard for a lot of these types of devices. However, the navigation with just the standard controller that it comes with isn't my favorite type of experience. I just, I feel like it could uh, do better. Now, in terms of controllers, you of course have the built-in one that it comes with, which was the Amazon Fire TV remote. And you can also have the Bluetooth gaming controller that you can purchase from Amazon. Now, with this one, it can't even do voice to text. However, you can do it with the app. If you download the Fire TV app, then you can actually use your Android phone and use it with it. So, if you have an Android phone, then it's going to be good. But if you're using this as a standalone device, I feel that the navigating, especially when typing out long text, uh, is just going to get old very quickly. Just having to type out everything by moving back and forth, it's just kind of a lot like last generation. You, you really should have voice to text standard with it. And that's one thing that I was pointing to that this version uh, does not have. And that the Fire TV does have, but not the Fire TV stick. Now, overall, the app's selection is abysmal at best. I mean, in terms of what you can put on there, it's very, very little. And you know, you can see the different categories you can uh, see through. The main thing to uh, notice is when you click on something at the top, you actually have what can work with the Fire TV remote and what can work with the game controller remote. Now, as you see, 91 will work with this one and only 66 with game controller for here which makes sense for your basic everyday apps your basic everyday apps you expect it to be more about the entertainment for the controller so you have netflix flickster plex twitch you have showtime anywhere all cast uh for fire tv which should make it uh more easily for androids to be able to connect to it because right now androids have uh that are not amazon do not connect to it through uh, screen mirroring, so that's important to note too. Um, and you have other things for entertainment purposes, which we, we've, there's some interesting ones in here. Of course, you have the ba the main ones you need, like Hulu Plus, Netflix, YouTube. You, of course, have those, um, and the rest are kind of like ones that you'll see pretty much anywhere. Crackle, Twitch, things like this that you expect to see on any of these devices nowadays. Now, in terms of games, there's a far less selection as you can expect. Uh, when you go through the games, this is obviously where you have an inverse of the Fire TV remote only working with about 25, whereas the gamepad works with about 36. So obviously more are gonna work with the game controller than it works with just the Fire TV controller. Which, honestly, this isn't a great device you'd want to play video games with. Now, who is this good for? Who should buy this? Well, obviously, if you're very heavily invested into Amazon Prime, this is probably the best reason to purchase this. Because you have all of your Prime movies, you have everything at your fingertips very easily with this. So that is obviously a great reason to purchase this. However, if you get most of your movies from the Google ecosystem, well, you have YouTube on here and that's pretty much it. Uh, so again, most like Amazon devices, they really kind of steer away from Google. This does have YouTube, which is good because if it didn't, then this wouldn't be worth my time. But because it does have YouTube and Netflix, these are the main two things that I expect it to have, then I would say it's good for most people. Uh, so, for $39, should you be buying this, or should you be buying a Google Chromecast? Well, uh, with the latest update to a Google Chromecast, you're going to be able to mirror your phone to the TV with Android 5.0. So, 
So if you can mirror your phone, your phone can do a lot more than this can. However, if you want something maybe simpler and easier, and if you're not comfortable with your phone mirrored to a TV, that's when you might want the Fire Stick TV. I myself am giving this to my mom, who I'm just going to give this to watch Netflix. Now, keep in mind, if she had a Blu-ray player, if she had, it would pretty much be the same exact experience. But if you just want to, again, keep it simple, make it easy to watch something simple as just say Netflix or Hulu Plus, then you might want to consider the Fire TV Stick. Otherwise, I would look more into the Chromecast. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.